Yeah. Greasy. Greasy. <laughs> Greasy. Greasy. We back in business. I want to be a hoe. How do I apply? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Brittany, AKA Pineapple Vegan, and today we're at Taco Cabana. Because if you didn't know, now you about to find out that they just launched their new Beyond Meat tacos and taco bowls. I just ordered um, a few of the tacos. Um, I didn't get the bowl because it's basically the same thing. And a little bit into the Beyond Meat, I think it's kind of cool that all these places are coming up with more options for vegans on the go. And notice that I said on the go because that is usually what this is for. I guess because I do post a lot of the mock meats and stuff, it does kind of look like that's all I eat, but that's just because I post it. But me and my family, we eat a lot of plant-based meals. Like like 98% of our meals are completely plant-based without any mock meats. I like to review some of them to let you guys know what your options are. Don't let the mock meats be what you eat every single day. Cause at the end of the day, you guys, it's still processed. So it's okay sometimes. Like, you know, like you have your junk food, you have your food that you eat sometimes, that's okay. You know, we're human, I, I'm here trying it. So obviously, it's okay sometimes, but don't make it an all the time thing. It's, you gotta have some balance. Cause otherwise, why are you even vegan? All right, you guys, so I got my tacos. It doesn't look like Beyond Meat. You know, you can kinda tell Beyond Meat. And I don't remember what Taco Cabana tastes like or smell like, but it doesn't smell like Beyond Meat either. Beyond Meat kind of has like a, a smell. So I'm interested <laughs> in seeing what it tastes like. All right, you guys, so I got some salsa. I got this, like, I guess regular Chipotle salsa and then the salsa verde. And then I thought that was cool. They had some actual little limes that you can squeeze on there. And I love to squeeze limes on my tacos. So. Let me do this. All right, here we go. It's not anything I would just go crazy over. Um, it's not bad. I think they could definitely use more seasonings, but I think that's just how their tacos are though. I think it's like a, I don't know, but it's not really flavorful. It doesn't taste like the Beyond Meat though. Like, you know, I said that the Beyond Burger and the Beyond Meat has like a taste and a smell. It does not taste like the Beyond Meat. And I hope that's what they gave me. He said that, I'll let him taste it. It's like a gas station taco. The shell is super chewy and stale, but this is like a drunken night taco. You know, I'm burping so much. Ew. I'm, <laughs> ew. <laughs> I'm burping so much. This is, y'all, don't eat this stuff every day, okay? <laughs> For those of you who are transitioning and y'all eat this stuff every day, boo boo, chill. Honey boo boo child, chill. Don't eat this stuff every day. You are still going to be fat. You are going to gain weight. You are going to be lethargic. Fat vegan. You're gonna be a fat vegan. So overall, it tastes like a basic taco. A little underwhelming. I can also say that the shell is really kind of stale as well, so. Maybe I came at a wrong time. Maybe it's better um, earlier in the day when the shell isn't chewy and <laughs> tough. Feels like I'm biting into leather strips. If I could rate this on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the greatest, I would rate this as a six and a half. That's just my opinion. And like I said, my shell is stale and maybe your location tastes different, but as always, I say just go ahead and give it a try for yourself. Form your own opinion. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. 
and click that little notification button so you will be notified whenever I upload a video. And until next time, I see you guys later.